hello guys this is Sajid back again with another video and in this video I will teach you how we can index different languages for different countries what I mean is uh, for example if uh, someone search our website from UK uh, then uh, the Google will show the English version of our website okay and if someone search our website from Spanish then Google will show the Spanish version of our website and uh, if someone search our website from Germany then our then Google will show the German version of our website okay this is one 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 example uh, if I search Apple official website in Google in the USA then you can see the Google is showing www.apple.com but if I search the same keyword in span then I then you can see the URL is different the URL is www.apple.com slash es so this is the Spanish version this can be done through hreplang okay hreplang can be implemented through uh, three ways one is uh, uh, through HTML tags sitemaps and HTTP headers let's see the practical example of href HTML tag uh, this is my simple website just assume I will upload this website here okay this is index.html which will be the English version then we will have French version we will have a Spanish version we will have English UK version we will have English Canada version okay so now just assume we have files in all these folders uh, I create one let's say in in the in the French I create page.html and inside I I add some HTML code now where and how we can add uh, uh, the href lang tag so first add the default okay add the default language so just assume uh, okay on the base domain I will run uh, the default language and you you know that uh, if someone access our website this index.html will open and this index.html is written in English okay so and uh, the another language uh, I have is uh, the French so I will add here fr uh, the URL is sajajabed.com slash then the folder name is fr then the page name the file name is uh, page.html and also if someone search this website just assume from usa okay so this here i also write this is this is english version so the default and the english version both are same and the french version is different I only added the French version so you uh, you you, sh you will add the Spanish version the English UK version the English Canada version so you will do the same when you finish all then just copy this and add to all pages you will add the same code to all pages and make sure all languages URL are different like you can see the English language URL is different and the French language URL is different so this is very important the URL should be different okay another way is uh, high replying xml sitemap so i will give you this file okay uh, this is a xml sitemap generator okay and the process is very simple okay so here let's say i just assume that my default language is english and uh, then i have english version i have french version I have just assume Spanish version uh, I have maybe another language that just assume Arabic language okay I'm just giving you example and uh, then here uh, I will add the URL so just assume like uh, for example I'm giving you example okay and maybe this example will not match with the uh, discord but okay this is my English default version and this is 
uh, English version I think I choose uh, English multiple times yes this should be something else English India okay so English India URL is something like this uh, then I have French so it should like look like FR uh, then I have Spanish then it, it, it should look like ES uh, then I have uh, Arabic then the URL is AR okay then come here click on this uh, result tab and copy this copy this whole okay and here come and create a, a sitemap.xml file as you can see this is the formatted form and uh, now uh, you should do one thing you should include this whole code in this tag okay and now I close this tag so your sitemap is ready just upload this sitemap to your website okay keep in mind use one way uh, don't use all the ways either use uh, either use the tag uh, okay the HTML tag way or either use the sitemap don't use both and the third one uh, this is not very common because uh, we use this way with uh, with not non HTML files something like PDF files so you don't need to understand this but uh, let me show you it look like it look like this you know uh, you just add HTML, uh, HTTP headers to your PDF file but this has nothing with web development like HTML CSS so that's it